it go like Don't break me for so fucking done with you, girl So fucking done with all this gang Hey everybody, this is Apex, back in another video. And today I'm going to be showing you a Matt's farming spot in uh, Stros Mackay. Uh, we're going to open the map and go ahead and start off and show you guys where you need to go. This is the Port Hunting Way Shrine in uh, Stros Mackay right here. Uh, and starting off, we're going to keep it nice and simple. Uh, we're going to be aiming north and just follow the path. I'm not going to speed through anything. I'm not going to skip through anything. I'm going to show you guys the whole route in its entirety. Uh, this is good a lot for uh, enchantment nodes, metal and jewelry crafting nodes. Right here you got an enchantment node near the tree. Um, you can skip up there and there's some ancestor silk spawns sometimes, but I usually don't go up there unless I'm going back on my way back through. <coughs> Over near this wolf we have a rubidite spawn right here. Come down the way, wood spawn, rubidite spawn jump across ancestor silk another rubidite I'm not gonna list each one off every time I'm just showing you guys where they are and giving you an idea at first you just gotta jump back across the water here and then follow the cliff wall another one down there another one right here Champ no near the tree. There can be a chest against this wall here sometimes. Another one right here. Cut through. Hey buddy, shush. Then we got another one up here. Someone's getting it. Just keep hugging the cliff wall. Another one right there. Turn left. Go down this way. You got a double spawn here. Head up over top. There can be a spawn here and a chest. Then you just hop down. There can be a rubidite spawn here. Ancestor silk double spawn. There can be some right there, but it's not there right now. Same over here in this corner. Be one against that wall. Can be one right here. And then you're going for a swim. Got one right there. There could be a spawn right about here. I will say this is a pretty big route, but that's why it's so good, because by the time you've gone through it, everything comes back. There's usually a Rubidite spawn here, an enchantment node there. can be another enchantment node up here. It's not up here right now, though. And then you can come across. Spawn right here. And then follow the water and the cliff wall again. be double spawn right here and right here and you hop across fishing spots here too so you can fish while you're here if you really wanted to I don't but you can if you want to enchantment node rubidite can be a double spawn enchantment node spawn here spawn here look it just spawned I will say that this place is kind of heavily saturated sometimes with people like it, this is a very popular spot and it's kind of like an older spot that's really known but I just wanted to come out with, with it for you guys in case you you know forgot about it or didn't never know about it in the first place give you guys a good spot to come map farm uh, if you can get here in a dead time like when it's dead and nobody else is here you will get rubidite or quick as crap I mean like there's at least 30 nodes in this rotation, I'd say. Not Well, not 30, but like a lot. Like 20 at least. 
And if, even if you only get three per each one, which is unlikely, you're still going to come out of it with like 60 Rubidite ore every time you go around in a circle. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Up here on the hill, you can get some Ancestor Silk right here. This isn't really good for Ancestor Silk, but I will show you guys in another video where I go to farm Ancestor Silk. And then the path starts over again, where you come down and hop across from the Way Shrine. I'm going to show you another alternative little spot you can go. Instead of going straight through like that, you can come down here. Don't accidentally hit A on that guy's body like I did. Uh, there's you know some, some alchemy stuff here too. Rubidite. Uh, once you get done with this part, it will just, it'll just go back to the same rotation you were already doing. There's just, like honestly, I usually just skip this part though, because it's just not worth me coming down here, especially when other people are running it. I'm trying to keep ahead of them. See, now you're back on your same rotation. You get that one. Go down here. See, someone got it. See, there's one right there. And you just hug the cliff wall. See, chess. Yeah, I suck at lock picking, so yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> yeah, see, I failed that one like three times. Oh my god, make that four. Oh my god, I'm screwing it up, fellas. Oh my god, that's terrible. That's terrible, guys. <laughs> Apparently, I suck really bad at lock picking. That's why I need to go put some points into my force lock thing. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I can't even pick it up. Because I got a full inventory of crap right now. <laughs> like a whole bunch of set pieces that I farmed. That I need to either try to sell or deconstruct. And there you go. Back on the rotation. <coughs> I can't stress this enough though. Wherever you farm, it doesn't matter if you learned it from this video or not. Take everything out of the node. It doesn't matter if you have Elder Scrolls Plus or not. Take all of it. Okay? So, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope it helped, and I hope you get some good mats out of it. I'll see you guys in the next video.